Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be making this video show you how you can get a, an audio visualizer on your beats or even songs. You can import them uh, using FL Studio 20. So what we're going to do is open up FL Studio 20. And inside of here we have this little cool thing called um, Z Game Editor Visualizer. So what we're going to want to do is open up like any beat we have. And I'll show you guys how to get this going. I don't know why it's taking so long to open this up. My apologies. Okay, so I have this beat that I made, which I put here. And what? Boom, that's that. Now, in order to get this working and get a little visual to our beat, we're going to click on here where the mixer is. And anywhere on the, you got to go in the master slot. So anywhere on there, you can open up Z Game Editor Visualizer. Now, what opens up is these two screens. This is where we're going to like put our pictures. And then here's where we're going to see our video. Now, I apologize. It's going to get a little messy. Um... My mouse is kind of messed up, so we'll see what we can do. So once we got that open, we're on the main tab. We're going to want to go and click on Add Content. From Add Content, make sure that you're on the Images tab and click Add Pictures. Now, obviously, you got to have pictures to get started. So I would recommend, like, for the background, the bigger the better and, like, a blur background. Or you can use whatever you want. And uh, PNG, that's transparent. So you guys are going to see what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to go to do, 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 downloads. And here I have a PNG. It's for Metal Gear Solid. So I'll throw that in there. And it's right there. And I'm going to add in a, a blur background. So we're going to go and click on add pictures again. And I have that on the desktop. So I'm going to find that bad boy and open that up so as you can see we got both of them there now we're going to go back and click on the main tab and if you go down here you see this like section we're going to click on where it says none and we're going to find where it says image and if you see here that like mosaic thing that's going to turn into the picture that we're going to select here so image source click there and I'm going to pick the blur background. You can pick either or, it doesn't matter. So that's going to be your background for the video. If I can drag it over to show you. Can't drag it over, but I can open it, I guess. Okay, so that's going to be your background. Now to add our PNG, click here on the plus sign. Click on none. Find image again. And go where it says image source. And find your PNG. So that's my PNG right there. Um, now the cool part is you can resize it obviously and do all of that. And that's what we're going to want to do in order to throw in the visualizer effect. So right now we got our background, we got a PNG. What I like to do is I click on this again. I click on none. And then there's a section that says peak effects. So down here it says linear polar. Now if I click polar, it goes like that, right? It goes over it. We can make it bigger, smaller, uh, more like see-through. You know what I mean? Transparency, sorry. We can change the color of it. You can do a bunch of stuff. As you can see. So that is going to react towards the beat. Now, if I play the beat, watch. So that's how you get that. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can just go here, click this plus sign and canvas effects. Now, these are all different effects that are going to run like in the background and they do not react to the music, but it's just cool to have them on. So like I put on flow noise, for example. And as you can see, I can't see anything because that's the top picture, right? So it's over everything, but we use alpha. 
and then we can just kind of blur it in. You see what I mean? Or if you want, you can like drag this over here, whatever. It doesn't like, I don't really see it making a difference too much, but you could do that. And um, that's pretty much how you get it going, man. You can also slow down the speed, speed up the speed. You see what I mean? So there's a bunch of things that you can do, play with it. Um, there's also a way somewhere to add text, but I forgot how to do that. So I'm going to skip that part right now. And I don't really put text anymore. As you can see, it already gets like that. So all I really want is like a little background, maybe like a little effect. And I just want this polar thing and my thing in the middle. And I'm good. That's just me personally. Um, so once you have all of that, you can literally just click export video. Find where you want to save it, obviously, and um, click OK. And now if I click start, it's going to start saving the video and it actually saves a uh, wave version of the beat as well. So that's how you do it. I'm not going to go through this process, but there's no need to. But yeah, I hope it helps you guys out. One thing before I end this video is I wanted to show you how you can do that with uh, Edison. So, for example, if I like mute all of this crap and I open up Edison, say you, you don't have a beat, you just found a song and you want to like, you know what I mean, make a thing with it. Um, so let me load uh, whatever. What's Calendar Girl? I don't even know. Load Calendar Girl into here. Okay, let me mute everything. And now, if we go to our Edison, I mean, Z Game Editor, and I play it. I love, I love, I love my calendar girl. Yeah, sweet calendar girl. So yeah, that's it, man. There's two ways to do it. You can do it directly with your beats, like, you know, in the playlist, or you can open up Edison, like I just showed you. Drag that into here and then do that same method so i um, hope that helps you guys out make sure to check out the other videos tracks and subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon peace